Welcome to DSNews.com. I'm Carrie Bay, and this is Monday's Top Default Servicing News. Wells Fargo and J.P. Morgan Chase are the first of the big banks to release their earnings summaries for the third quarter. The two reports paint a very mixed picture, with Wells raking in record earnings and Chase reporting its first ever loss under CEO Jamie Dimon. Wells Fargo earned $5.6 billion in the third quarter. Mortgage originations totaled $80 billion, resulting from a reduction in refinance activity. Mortgage servicing rights brought in net income of $504 million, a figure that's been steadily rising. The company also benefited from a decline in the amount set aside for repurchase losses, just $28 million in Q3. J.P. Morgan's earnings, on the other hand, sank under the weight of a $9.2 billion legal expense, resulting in a net loss for the quarter of $380 million. Taking that one-time legal charge out, the company says third quarter net income would have been $5.8 billion. Mortgage originations were down slightly to $44 billion. Mortgage servicing rights resulted in a net loss of $406 million, while repurchase reserves rose to $159 million. The Appraisal Institute is taking steps that it says have the potential to reshape the valuation profession on a global scale. Among those initiatives, the group is creating a new organization to certify valuation professionals who meet certain criteria as cross-disciplinary. The Appraisal Institute says it's in support of, quote, the future generation of valuation professionals. As always, you can find more on these stories and all the news affecting your business right here on our site. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on Tuesday. Until then, stay with DSNews.com for all of your most relevant default servicing news.